So let's get into today's topic. Manufactured homes. So manufactured homes, definitely popular as prices have increased, right? So a good option uh, for our borrowers out there uh, that need to have some flexibility. Uh, manufactured homes, very popular. And our investors obviously love these as well. So Jose has of the programs we can use for these types of properties. So Jose, if you're ready, let's check out some actual examples here. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining us for Daily Mortgage Rates Live with the Mortgage Calculator. Manufactured homes, like Mick was saying, very hot segment of the market. Uh, we definitely are seeing a lot of traction in the manufactured homes. Uh, because, uh, like Mick was mentioning, the affordability factor, right? Uh, we're having a real issue with inventory um, throughout the country, and that has affected uh, the inventory um, and has affected the pricing. So uh, manufactured homes, uh, definitely a much more affordable option and uh gaining a lot of traction we talk about manufactured homes and we talk about our one-time close uh option as well and we like talking about manufactured homes not just an agency but non-qm so we do have some choice options for you today so let me go ahead and share my options with you because at the Mortgage Calculator, we definitely love uncovering all opportunities uh, for our borrowers in the market. So let's go with the highest LTV options first. Our first is our manufactured home per VA purchase, 100% LTV. Again, here, um, 7.125 is our lowest cost option and 6.5% lowest rate option. And if you have this a seller paying uh, closing cost credit to the buyer, you can certainly get a lower rate because the rates we're showing you here are the um, lowest compliant rates uh, for our points and fees test. But if you have seller paid credit, we definitely have options lower than 6.5% that we can offer you. And our next option, another great 100% LTV option is our USDA purchase. Uh, that's a great combination. USDA loans, which are rural in nature with manufactured home, that's going to equal a nice low price for our purchasers. And talking about low prices, we always love when we have lender credits, especially with our 100% LTV financing options. So here's 7.125% offers a lender credit, actually a $2,000 lender credit. And you can buy that down all the way to 6.125%. Pretty amazing rate there for our 100% LTV manufactured home purchase. No loan level price adjustments there, by the way. So now here is our FHA purchase 96.5% LTV on our manufactured home purchase and look at these rates again lender credit 7% with a $614 lender credit and you can buy that down all the way to 5.875% love when I'm seeing those fives there in the rate especially for a manufactured home now our next option uh, by the way on the agency loans i should let you know that freddie mac is definitely uh friendlier towards manufactured homes than fannie mae when we're talking about conventional freddie mac is uh more manufactured home friendly this is the freddie mac choice one program with amazing rate options here you're looking at 7.49 with a lender credit, and you can buy that down to 6.49% as our lowest rate option for our Freddie Mac Choice Home Purchase 95% LTV. So I did promise you uh, some extra special stuff, and here we got it. Manufactured Home DSCR 
purchase. Now, it is 70% maximum, 70% LTV max, should I say, for our manufactured home purchase using DSCR. And I have a very choice rate here for you. This is a fully lender paid option, 9.25% interest rate, no points, right? Zero loan discount on this 9.25 rate. So this is the par rate. You can definitely uh, buy it down a little bit, definitely into the eights. So 70% maximum LTV, 9.25% is our par rate for our manufactured home purchase with the SCR guidelines. And I have the DSCR cash out refi is 65% LTV and a great 9.375 rate. That's a pretty amazing par rate for this manufactured home cash out refi using DSCR guidelines. Pretty amazing stuff there. Now, a couple more cash outs just so that you can put into perspective the great deal that i showed you which was dscr cash out of a manufactured home 65 percent max well i'll let you know that uh for a conventional loan the maximum ltv on the cash out for a manufactured home is also 65 percent ltv right uh, fanny and freddie are pretty uh, strict on the cash out for a manufactured home. So that 65% LTV max that I showed you for the DSCR looks really sweet now, right? That one was 9.375 at par. Here we're 7.625 costing us a half a point. There was not a par option here. And then from there, you can buy it down to 6.875% for your 65% LTV. And this is the Manufactured Home Advantage Program. I would like to state that's a specialty program that uh, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac has for manufactured homes uh, that are newer. I can't exactly remember the year built for this uh, home, if it's 92 or 96, but there is... Um, you know, it can't be an old, can't go all the way back to 1976, for example, which is the oldest that uh, we can do under these types of programs. So for the manufactured home advantage, it does have to be a newer uh, manufactured home. And I think it's like a one point betterment in the cost of the rate. So good options here again, 7.625 lowest cost option, 6.875 gross rate option. And then for our FHA manufactured home cash out, it is like the other FHA programs, maximum 80% LTV. No loan level price adjustment here for our FHA loan. So you see again, amazing 7% rate with a lender credit of $509.125. And you can buy that down all the way to 5.875%. So basically same rates that we had on the purchase. And our last option is our VA manufactured home cash out refi up to a 90% LTV. And we do have 7.625 as our lowest cost option, 6.625 as our lowest rate option for our VA cash out refi up to 90% LTV. So many great options for your manufactured home loans here at the mortgage calculator. We showed you the obvious ones, right? The VA, the FHA, the USDA, but we also showed you a couple more interesting ones like the 5% down Freddie Mac Choice Home with great rates Right. And our DSCR, 70% purchase and 65% cash out. That's probably the best one of them all because the investors love the DSCR loans and they love manufactured homes. So go ahead, put yours together, and we'll be sure to quote you out a great deal. All right. Thank you, Jose. So uh, let's see here some questions. I do see one question coming through here, which is, does the purchase include the land, which really kind of brings up just a, a, a 
more clarification point, right, Jose? So can you expand on what it means? Absolutely, included, yes. Not included, you know. Yeah, absolutely. That's a great point. Uh, because if the purchase did not include the land, then we will be talking about a mobile home, right, which is basically like a trailer and not a manufactured home, right? A manufactured home is a mobile home that has transitioned uh, into real property, uh, real estate, when it got permanently affixed to the land. So there is an affidavit that has to be provided. Usually the title company obtains it, which is called the affidavit of a fixture. That is the affidavit that documents the exact day that the manufactured home was born, right? That's the day they transitioned from a mobile home to a manufactured home, because that's the day that they were permanently affixed to the land via uh, a more or less permanent foundation, wheels taken off, skirts put in place. Uh, so that it looks like a home and not a trailer. So it always includes the land. And on top of that, if any of the question maybe had to do with uh, one-time construction loans, you can buy the land and a new manufactured home as well with a one-time closed construction loan. All right. Let's see here. I do not, so we'll go ahead and uh, wrap it up though. But uh, like Jose said, great thing to know, especially right now in the, the inventory market that there is right now, as well as the fact that investors love the DSER loan. Great opportunity right now. So with that being said, we'll go ahead and wrap it up. Remember, we do this 11 a.m. Eastern time every weekday where we go through the live rates and then do a deep dive into a different topic. So we'll be back to, uh, tomorrow with a new topic. Thank you everybody for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow, 11 a.m. Eastern, for the next episode of Daily Rates Live with the Mortgage Calculator. Have a great day, everyone.